Hi, welcome. I'm so excited you're here. My name is Miss Natasha and I am the author and illustrator of Moon's Ramadan. And today I'm going to be talking to you about how I designed the cover. So book covers actually have a very important job. They are selling you the book. When you go to a library or to a bookstore, there's so many choices. And sometimes you do need to judge a book by its cover because you don't have time to read them all. So I'm gonna show you a few book covers and you tell me, what do you think the illustrator is telling you about the story? This one. Sometimes the illustrator might be telling you about a magical moment that's inside the book or a character that you might fall in love with and really like. So let's just say the book cover is super duper important and it's not a job that you do alone. For Moon's Ramadan, I worked with an amazing team. It included my editor, my art director, my agent, and myself, along with the amazing people that help us do our jobs. Before I started illustrating the cover, I actually had all the words for the book done and most of the sketches for the book done as well. So my editor, my art director, and I knew what this story was about. And so when it came to the sketching stage for the cover, they shared the elements of the story that they thought would be the most appealing to readers and would be great for the cover. So I got out my little sketchbook, which is now covered in baby oil because I was experimenting with watercolors and baby oil. Um, and I started putting down ideas of what I thought could be on the cover. And as you can see, it's super rough sketches. Like these are just quick, quick pencil drawings of where people could go and the moon could go. And there's two sides because this is the front and this is the back. So I always thought about, okay, what's on the back that makes connection to the front. Okay, here's some more rough sketches. You can see I was just all over the place. I had some moon between a building. I had kids walking across it like a clothesline. I had kids hanging stars in the sky. So something like really symbolic, not, not um, a real place. Um, so I had a bunch of ideas that I sent over to my editor and art director. And um, they took a look at the ideas and they said, okay, we kind of like this piece from this and this piece from that. Why don't you send us some new sketches that incorporates our new feedback? So then I sent them some new sketches that incorporated the new round of feedback. And you can see they're a little bit cleaner. This is the front of the book, this is the back. And I made Moon in between buildings. Um, I also gave them an option where Moon was in a windowsill and the kids were at the bottom, kind of looking up at Moon. And then this last one, I put Moon really at the center with lots of sky and star around Moon and the kids at the buildings. And I really loved that the kids were holding up um, this little star banner because they were kind of playing with Moon and also um, giving her a crown. And so um, I received feedback from my art director and my editor on my new sketches and they really liked one specific direction I was so excited that we had decided on a final sketch and I could start the art process, which is for me, watercolor and digital pencil. Um, and so I finished all my art and I sent it off to them and they sent me some samples on paper just so I could see what it would look like. Cause sometimes um, when you print something, it looks a little bit different on paper than it does on your computer screen. So it's very important to get printed samples so you can see how the colors can look and change. And this is my printed sample. And you can see it says matte laminated because that's the type of uh, printing job this was. And um, as you can see, there is no title and there are no stars because uh, my art director, my amazing art director, actually decided to uh, do it in gold foil. So that was added later. So when you see the final version of the book, I'll show you in a second, you'll see the gold foil. All right, are you ready to see the final cover? You know, it's been hiding back here like the whole time, right? Okay, let's get it. Ah, here we go. And then 
Here you can see the gold foil on the stars and the title, and there is moon. And it was a very long piece of illustration because it actually started ah, right here. And then it ended, let's keep going around. There's the back of the building, cute little cat. And then the last piece of illustration was the jacket cover where I share information about me. So I hope that you enjoyed my video and you learned a little bit about how authors and illustrators make book covers. Thank you.